to read what so far we have, uh, what so far we have talked about. Owen, yes, Owen, can you give us that point number three? Can you read that point number three, Owen? Jesse, point number three, Owen. Yes, Owen, you unmuted, but you cannot talk. Joanna, yes, Joanna, can you yes, come on and read? Yes, can you read that point number three? Goats are resistant to diseases and pests. Uh-huh, they are resistant to diseases and pests. So from there, you find that for it, if there is disease attack, they can be able to resist. Okay, so Ella, please, you leave the chat by saying hello, otherwise you will not. Um... Ella, please, you can uh, stop that kind of chatting. Okay, so let's continue and look at the advantages of keeping goats. Another advantage is there, who is going to read for us? Okay, okay, can we ask from Ella? Ella, you were chatting now, can you read for us point number four? Ella? Yes. Yes, you read that point number four. Goats can withstand any type of climate. Uh -huh, they can withstand any type of climate. Here we can talk about if the weather is rainy, you can find that they will withstand. Even when it is shiny, you will find that they will withstand. That is the advantage of keeping goats over other animals. So I hope you people, you are following what we are trying to discuss here. The next point is, the next point is, the next point is, okay, can someone read for us the next point? Can you read Imran? Lillian, can you read? God's feed on almost all type of vegetables. Ah, it is vegetation. Vegetation. Goats feed on almost all types of all type of vegetation. Very yeah. good. So for them, they are not selective. For them, they are not selective. They can feed on almost all types of vegetation. You find they are eating grass, they are eating that soft part of the tree, they are eating almost everything. The banana yeah. peelings, you find them eating. Unlike other animals may be selective, they may not eat any other. So you can find that this is very, uh, very good. Okay? Uh, this is good. Yes. Uh, that is why we are talking of... Okay, so those are some of the advantages uh, those are some of the advantages of keeping Excuse goats. Excuse me, teacher. Yes, please. Teacher. You are welcome. Imran, are you the one talking? Teacher. Yes. Yes, teacher. No. Yes, teacher. I can't hear you. Teacher. Yeah. I can't hear you. Okay, so now you can pay attention so that you can hear me. Eh? Okay, so uh, we were interrupted a bit. We were Excuse me, teacher. Yo. Yes. No, the work you are going to you are going to find this work on Google Classroom. So don't mind of uh, uh, of copying them. So just give me now products that we get from goods products got from goats. Uh, let's try to give products got from goats. Okay, can we hear from Jesse? Jesse, can you give us one product that we get from goats? Meat. We have meat, good, Jesse, thank you. Uh, let's go to Babiria. Yes, Babiria. Another product apart from meat, Babiria. Yes. 
Uh, Jesse, you have already contributed. I was on Bavaria, but now they, they disappeared from my hand. Yes, Nakato and Bavaria. Can you give us one product apart from meat? Milik. We have milik. Let me write what you have said. Uh, someone said meat. And then, okay. Oh, I've written the next one as the skin. Okay, we also have the skin. Uh, these are some of the products that we get from uh, from God. Joanna, can you give us another one? Joanna? Yeah. Yes, at the beginning, somebody talked about also more air, isn't it? Uh -huh. Somebody talked about more air. And I told you, I promised you that I'm going to show you. I said this is... Um, the, the animal fiber that we get from goats. Uh, we have, let me give you, I've got at least a picture. Um, we have Milk. the droppings. Uh -huh. So look at this animal, look at this goat. This is what we are calling the more air. This, is, this skin that you are seeing. Also, which, yes. you so, have yeah. matons. Yes. But they Matons. call them matons. Uh -uh. When we talk about mutton, mutton is the meat yes. of is the meat of a sheep. That is mutton is the meat of a sheep. So the meat of a goat is called meat. It remains meat. So when you say mutton, mutton is the product we get from sheep, not from goat. Have you understood it? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. So we are on more air. We are on more air here, Pius. Uh-huh, so I have brought for you this. Now you see, this is the product. This small air here is, we, we get it from Angora goats. So you find that uh, people pick this small air and use it to make sweaters, okay? People use it to make sweaters, you can see. So there are those sweaters which you find when they are very, very smooth. It is made out of this small air. So it is a product we get from goats. And somebody talked about the skin. You can see this is the skin of a goat here. Okay, so this is the skin of a goat. So these are some of the products that we get from, uh, that we get from goats. These are some of the products that we get from, uh, from goats. Okay, so members, um, Yes, we were interrupted, but I wanted us to uh, to also look at the picture or the diagram of a goat. And we name some of the few uh, parts of a goat, and then we can be able to stop there. Okay, let's look at this goat and just we name some of the few parts, and then we can stop there. We can name maybe this part. Uh, we can name this part. Uh, we can name this part. So some of the few parts, we can name this part. Uh, the part that I'm making in black, we can name this part. Uh, oh, this one. Now, if you look at the a goat like this, I may not be able to name for you all the parts of a goat, but at least let me try to name for you some few parts. Uh, so that once you are at home, you can be able to name them, okay? When you're at home there, you can be able to, to name them. So we have this one, which we call it um, a horn. This is a horn. Uh, we can say horn, H-O-R-N, horn. And then we have this part here after the horn, I have put this part, you can name it the, the ear, okay? Can write for you here, okay. So then we have this part, members, this part, which I'm putting, I'm putting it outside, how who can name for us that part? Pius, can you name for me this part here? Pius, can you name for me this part, Pius? Fires, please, can you name for me this part here? Oh, 
Okay, Pius is not there. Pius has disappeared. Imran, can you name for me this part? Imran, this one? Tail. Aha, uh -huh, that is the tail. Very good, Imran. Okay, let me get another person to name for me this part. Victor. Victor, can you name for me this part? This one. Breast. Ah, we don't call it breast. Can you name it as ada? Can you say ada? Ada. Ada. What is the spelling of ada? A. N. The spelling of ada is U. D. D. E. R. Can you say ada? Ada. Uh -huh. Can you spell it? Can you spell A. the word ada? A. It is U. U. Mm. D. Mm. D. E R. Uh -huh. D. D. E R. Very good. Now, here in the ada, we have this part where now the milk come out when the when the kid is 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 sucking it is breastfeeding now now here it is what we call the tits okay victor can you say tit tip aha uh -huh, this is the tit so these are some of the major part that you need to understand uh, from here so this one um uh, Pai has said that it is the tail, so we can write their tail. Okay, we have the tail. T A L T A I L tail. Okay, then this part here is what they call the thigh. This is the thigh. This is the thigh. You can write T H I G. H. So these are some of the parts. Uh, we have very many parts that I'm going to, to write. Now here, we have this part here. Mm? Okay. I hope you are seeing this part here. Okay. For this goat, it may not be seen well, but we can ask someone to name for us this part. Okay. This part here is what I'm naming where I have marked it there. How do we call that part, Joanna? How do we call this part? Yes, Joanna. Woof. Aha, uh -huh, we have the woof. Very good. So you write there the spelling of the woof. Joanna, can you give us that spelling? H. Mm. O. Mm. V. Woof. It is H O O and the F because I've pointed only one. That's why I've written it in a singular form. Are you getting Joanna? Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. Then this part, you see this part here? That part is called the, the knee. That is the knee. Okay, you can write there knee. So these are some of the parts that we can know uh, in, this, uh, in this diagram, okay? Then uh, this part here, which you have in the mouth, uh, this part we call it muzzle. We call it muzzle, okay? We call it muzzle, M-U-Z. Z and L E. Okay, so otherwise we have so many other parts that we have in um in a goat. We have the eye, we have the nose, okay. We have the forehead. This one is the forehead. So these are some of the parts that we uh, that we have in goat keeping because our time has gone and we were a bit interrupted. I think we are going to end there for now, but the main thing is you should be able to understand, to recall those 
uh, terms that we have used, like kidding. Uh, you should be able to uh, understand those terms we have used, like um, uh, like uh, a kid, a billy goat, and so on. And then you should be able to give the uses of goats. Otherwise, thank you so much. Uh, we are going to stop there for now until we meet again. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome.